I, I don't do as much fishing as I used to. I've had a lot of health, a lot of health issues. Uh, I've, I've been diabetic for probably close to 30 years, and now I'm, I'm in a, some problems with uh, uh, very early, early stages of, uh, of uh, Parkinson's. It, 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 it's, it's something that you should be aware of, but it's not a death sentence, and, 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 and go about your life as normal as you can. It will affect it, but don't, don't let it stop you from doing the things you like to do, my goodness. My fly fishing is, and fly tying have, when, when everything looks the bleakest, I'll either go fishing or down and tie flies. So I, I think probably the the idea started, sort of the seed of the idea started maybe 12 years ago or so when Denny and I were, you know, on the floor together at a local fly shop, Grizzly Hackle, which is right right in downtown Missoula. Do you yeah. think um, do you think everyone has a Denny? I think. He's got a present is from it, Noah. Is it a Denny? <laughs> yeah. Think, thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's like, do work. <laughs> You're do not work, working dad. enough. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So, I, you know, I, I think, I think yes. You know, I think people. You know, we we all mm -hmm. should be so lucky to have a Denny. But I think I think on some level that the the story kind of speaks to anybody who's ever had a mentor you know whether it was fly fishing or fly tying or woodworking kayaking skiing golf you know i think it, people that truly care about things you know end up sort of not being able to help themselves from sharing it with others because i think that's it's part of the human experience is things are, are more rich when we can share them i think Extend, extend a little bit of a metaphor, but a good analogy. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think like that, that he's he's a good one, you know, through and through. He's just a he's just a kind soul, and you know, would give you the shirt off his back, but sort of, you know, doesn't he doesn't like to talk about himself. So, you know, I, I mean, I, I I think really the reason he even agreed to make it was was for me, you know, yeah. and I, and I wanted to make it for him, so. It works out pretty well, I guess, and now now it's going out in the world, and I, you know I'm excited to see what what the reception is like. We're so excited to release it on uh, March 10th. Couldn't come soon enough. Uh, we're excited for the world to to know Denny's story and to see your amazing work, and we're happy to have you part of the tour. Yeah, likewise. It's been a great experience, and uh, you know, check it out. Click the link, as I say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tip of the hat to you, Matt. Really great film, and uh, you know we got the opportunity to watch it to prep for this um, interview, and uh, it was such a nice. It's just such a nice piece, and people try not to like get, you know, give away too much here because I really would yeah. like to talk about specifics, but yeah. um, but it really was quite touching, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for watching it. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming out, Matt. We'll talk soon. Okay. Sounds good, guys.